uh, eliminating the gun violence in our communities. Obviously, this is a very important day for us for the gun turn in. We have so many wonderful community partners. Uh, and let me stress that again, partners in this effort, uh, and some of which you will, have, you will hear comments from. So I'm going to keep my comments uh, very short, but I would like to take the time to acknowledge some very important parents that are representing parents all across the city that have lost loved ones to gun violence, and they see the importance of having this as one important effort to support the comprehensive ways that we try to eliminate gun violence uh, in our city. So if you would just please allow me to read the names of these individuals. We have Annette and Ron Holt, uh, the parents of Blair that are here. We have Pam and uh, Tom Bosley, the parents of Terrell Bosley. Josephine Williams, Anthony, uh, who lost her son Anthony Williams. Maria Ramirez, who lost her son as well, who's here. Matthew, I'm sorry. We have Jackie Algy, who lost her son, Kenneth. Alicia Hudson, who lost her son, Dariel. Denise Reed, who lost her daughter, Starkeisha. I apologize, I have some of the names. Tanya Birch, who lost her son, Deontay Smith. Miss Alice Norris, who lost her daughter, Rolanda Marshall. We think it's very important that we take time to acknowledge these parents because at its core, if you need to speak to someone in terms of the importance of today, we encourage you to make sure you speak to them, okay? Um, quickly, I'd like to also acknowledge a couple of organizations that are so uh, important to us and that have joined us today. We have uh, Purpose Over Pain, some of the parents are here, are uh, members of uh, that advocacy group. We have Hope Beyond Conviction, No Guns, No Violence. Uh, also, our special media partners, Split Channel, Univision, and others. And then, of course, we have uh, leaders throughout our community. Uh, Mike Ivers, who's with Good City Foundation. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, our city officials who are so important, uh, Chris Millett with the Mayor's Office and also Vance Henry, who's here with us from the Mayor's Office. So thank you so much. Uh, without further ado, I want to, um, and I feel uncomfortable asking, inviting the person whose home we're in to come forward, but we know he has been a leader, a leader in this city yes. on this issue. So Father Mike Flavor, please let's go. gun turn in every year yes. and how important it is. I thank them. They're a leading city in this country in terms of having these gun turn ins. And I know there's a bunch of naysayers that say, well, what does it do with the gun turn in? Well, 19,000 guns off the streets over the last six years is a lot. Right. Uh, look at the old uh, Navy story yesterday. Look at the Dan Ryan shooting yesterday. Look at I 55. Look at all the shootings that are going on around this country. Guns are a piece of the action. <laughs> Nobody is saying that's the whole problem. Right. But guess what? When you're angry, if you don't have a gun, you can't use it. When you're depressed and you feel suicidal, if you don't have a gun, you can't kill yourself. So when you are distressed, when you are angry, when you're in a rage, if you don't have a weapon on you, time can pass for you to come to your senses and realize that's not the way to solve your problem. We're in a sad day when the first line of response, of response for us is guns and anger and rage. Yes. Guns are a piece of this problem. If you have a dangerous item, you've got to not only change the mind, you've got to take away the dangerous item. So I thank the city and I thank the police department for being so supportive on this. I thank uh, Clear Channel B103 for being here today and all the parents and all the folks who support this and particularly all those who felt in their conscience to bring in guns today. I thank them. There's still some time left. I hope others will still bring them in. I'd like to bring to you now to speak uh, someone who I have a great deal of respect for, 
I think he's been a great asset in this city. I think he's done a great job in the city in an impossible times of crime and of violence. But somebody who has all my support and my respect, please welcome Superintendent Jody Weeks. Thank you, Father Mike, and thank all of you for being here today. And thanks to everyone that decided to do the right thing and turn in a weapon. Yes. Yesterday, we had our police award ceremony. Well, you recognized 100 to 150 officers. And a common theme throughout almost all the awards was someone points a gun at a police officer. Now, think about that. If someone's willing to point a gun at a police officer who's wearing a uniform, has a star on his or her chest, and is armed themselves, what will they do to regular citizens and residents on the streets? It's a pretty sad state when people are so willing to try to murder police officers. But today is a good day. We think back at that incident yesterday at Old Navy. You could ask yourself the question, if a gun wasn't available, would those two people be alive? Would their baby not be an orphan today? But because people are upset and angry and filled with rage, and you have access to a gun, two people are dead, and a child is now an orphan. Pretty sad. But today is a good day, so I don't want to be coming across any way as a downer. This is a great day. As of 1 o'clock, we've taken in 2,972 weapons across the city. That's 1,000 more than last year. And 42 of those weapons are assault rifles. Weapons that fire bullets that will pierce right through body armor on any police officer city. And right here at St. Saban, 347 weapons have been collected as of 1 o'clock. And we've still got over three, we've got three hours to go. So anyone who's thinking about doing this, please come forward. Uh, no questions asked. It's so important to get the weapons off the street. We've got too many incidents of children playing with guns, and I know that sounds kind of unusual, but playing with guns and a gun goes off and a child is dead. Two lives are lost. This is a great start. There's no room in America for many of these weapons. Assault rifles, they're designed for one thing, to kill human beings. But we don't need to have weapons designed for that in the hands of folks who may not have the emotional maturity, who may be filled with rage, who simply cannot handle having this instrument of death in their hands. So today is a great day. We're bringing in, hopefully we'll get more and more throughout the day. But I'd like to thank St. Sabina. I'd like to thank everyone for being involved with this. And I'd like to really thank the heroes behind me who have endured the most painful thing a parent can endure, the loss of a child. And yet they're here every day for us, every day in this city, to try and make sure that the message has not been lost, that we can make a difference if we stand together, not a fixed blame, but come together as a community, come together as a city, let the police work with the community, work with the parents, work with great partners like Mike Flager to try and bring peace to our streets and get these weapons out of the hands of our children. It's, it's been way too long. Thank you.